Hello everyone, welcome to Blogging My Passion YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create WordPress sliders. In some of the WordPress blogs or websites, you might have seen a slideshow at the top of the home page below the header. Normally, these slideshows contain a left arrow mark and a right arrow mark. And if you click those left arrow mark or right arrow mark, you will see the images moving accordingly. Also, these images have a particular time and after that particular amount of time the images move accordingly also these images will be linked to some particular articles within the blog or website and if you click those images you will be taken to those articles for example in my website bloggingmypassion.com i have created this slideshow this slideshow if you see it contains a left arrow mark and a right arrow mark and it is also showing some uh, dots below which shows you on which slide you are in and if I leave it like this it contains a particular amount of time and after that particular amount of time the images will go away and you will see new images also these images are linked to different articles and when you click on them and uh, those particular articles will be opened in the same page or in the new page for example if you see this one this is linked to some particular article and if I click on this image I'll see a new article or new page opening. Similarly, if you see other images, they are linked to some other uh, articles. And if I click on that, it will open those articles. For example, in this one, it opened the article in a new page, but in the previous one, it opened it in the same page. Okay, this one is opening in the same page. So I'm going to show you how to create this particular these kind of uh, slideshows in your WordPress blog or website. Also, generally, whenever you create these kind of uh, uh, WordPress sliders, they will be, you, you are normally going to add it to the widget area on the top of your home page. Uh, if your home page only contains uh, that particular widget area, that is fine. Otherwise, this will be added to each and every page or post. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that and how you can add the WordPress sliders only to the home page. So watch this video. Okay, the plugin I'm going to use to add sliders to the WordPress blog or website is Meta Slider. So in order to install this Meta Slider, let's go to WordPress plugin section and add this plugin. Let's go to the plugin section and click on add new and search here with the words meta slider so this is the first one and click on install and activate the plugin okay now the plugin is activated so you can see the plugin here meta slider plugin so this is the plugin here and once this plugin is activated you will see a link meta slider here so just click on this meta slider link and it will ask you to create a first slideshow so let's click on this plus button and it will show you the slides and it will ask you to add different slides click on add slide here so once you click on add slide it will ask you to select some slides from the existing media library or you can upload new files here but before uploading any new images for your WordPress slideshow or if you want to select any images from your media library, you need to make sure that you have the right images that fit exactly the size of the WordPress slider that you are going to have. So in order to do this, the first thing you have to know is like you know where you are adding this WordPress slider and what kind of images you need. So for this, uh, first let us go into the WordPress homepage. So I'm going to my home page and if I see, uh, I'm going to add my WordPress uh, slideshow here. That means below this header, I'm going to add this one. So the size of this particular, uh, uh, the width of this particular column is 1140 pixels. So I need to have images with width 1140 pixels. You can also have images uh, with more width or less width. If you have more width, you can crap those images and make them to, to the size you require. For example, if you have images uh, of width more than 1140 pixels, then I can cra crap them to 1140 pixels. Uh, or if I have like, you know, some images uh, with less than 1140 pixels, 
I can expand them and so that it, they will fit to the slider or I can make them show it in the middle of the slider by using the different options that I have here. I have some normal settings, general settings and I also some have some advanced settings. So using this advanced se settings, you can do that. But for this tutorial purpose, I'm just selecting only, I have already selected uh, some 1140 pixels uh, width images and I have already uploaded them to my library, media library. So I'm going to add them and I will show you how to create this slider. So click on this add slide first and this is one of the images. So I'm just selecting that one and I'm clicking on add to slider. Now this image is added and you can use these options, uh, you know, SEO, crop uh, and all these things. I'm not using uh, those options at this moment, but you can try those options. So what I'm uh, doing is I'm uh, giving like, you know, some caption here. Uh, for example, I'm giving the caption WordPress tutorials and i can link this image to any url and i can make it make it open in a new window whenever somebody clicks this image so wordpress tutorials for wordpress tutorials i'm giving like you know some okay let me change this to blogging tutorials blogging tutorials and i'll give this link so copy link location and I'm giving this, li this link here and I'm opening it in a new page, new window. And now add another slide and I'm selecting the second image here and click on add to slider. So the second one, I'll give it as WordPress video tutorials page, WordPress video tutorials. And I'm giving the URL to this particular link. So copy link location and put it here and open it in a new window. Uh, similarly, I am adding a third one, which is this one and add to slider. And I'm going to link it to WordPress plugins page. So I'm selecting this link and I'm copying the link. And this is WordPress plugins. WordPress plugins and I'm again opening it in new. In a new page so you have the option of uh, save and preview here so you can click on save and preview so it will save it and it will show you the preview if you see this one the images are uh, getting cropped because the, the reason is let me close this one if you see this the width is showing as 700 pixels so i'm making it as 1140 pixels and height as the height of each image is 200 pixels i have selected like you know all the images with 1150 40 pixels width and height as 200 pixels so i'm just making them as 140 and 200 pixels i'm just saving them and preview okay so this is the image so if you click on the right arrow button so the images will go accordingly and you can see the text the description we have given wordpress plugins word blogging tutorials wordpress video tutorials like this and if you click on this uh, links a new page will be opened like you know uh, and uh, the pages whatever we linked they will open in that page okay so now this is good let's close this one and uh, the effect uh, you can change these effects theme and all those things navigation so you can either hide the navigation or you can use the dots here so let's say, save this one so these are the different kinds of uh, sliders you have flex slider uh, order slides, uh, Nivo slider, coin slider. You can uh, change these options and see like you know, how this works. And for this tutorial purpose, I'm just like putting only this flex slider and uh, I'll be showing it to you. So now we have created a slider here. Let's change the name of the slider as home page, home page slider. So now save this one. Okay, now a slider is created and it is saved. Now what you have to do is, if you go here and see this one, if you go to the home page, it will still, uh, uh, it won't show any slider here because we have just created the slider, but we haven't added it to our blog yet. So now we have to add it to our blog. So what we have to do is, we have to go to the appearance section and widget section here and we have the section widget section under below. So this here we have a widget area. That means this particular section widget section comes below this header section. So at this point it comes. So what we have to do is in this widget widgets area, if you see 
you will see this meta slider new widget added so just drag it to this widget widget area widget section below header and you will see our select slider this is the home page slider this is this is the one we just created so whatever the number of sliders that you create they all come here and you can select the slider you want like you know whichever the one that you have created you can select that one so i have selected this one so i'm not giving any title here i'm just saving it okay now it is saved and if you go to your home page and refresh this one okay now you can see this slider here and it shows the left arrow mark and the right arrow mark let's click on this arrow mark so these arrow marks are working fine and you can also see the dots here which will show you on which image you are on currently and you can also see the description here like blogging tutorials wordpress video tutorials and wordpress plugins and these images they are linked to these particular pages so if we click on this they open in a new page and they will show you the pages we have linked okay now wordpress plugins blogging tutorials yes it is linked to blogging tutorials and the next one is wordpress video tutorials yes it is linked to wordpress video tutorials as well so this is working very good but the problem here is if you go to any post on the post also for example this is a sold my blog for ten thousand dollars so this is a post on this post also it is showing this wordpress slider so this is the problem because the widget area is there on home page as well as on each and every post and page that's why this particular wordpress slider is coming up on each and every page and post so if you want to have this wordpress slider only on the home page then what you have to do is you have to limit if uh, if your theme has a particular widget area that is limited to only home page you can use that particular widget area otherwise what you have to do is you have to use a new plugin called widget logic so let's go to plugin section and uh, add that new widget so let's search it with widget logic so this is the widget logic here and click on install okay and now it is installed and let's activate this one okay now the widget logic plugin is activated let's go and check this one okay and so now this is the widget logic uh, section widget logic plugin so what this widget logic plugin do is using this plugin you can restrict the widgets that you want to appear only on some particular pages or posts for example let me go to this uh, appearance and widget section and if you go here if you go to the widget section below the header this one so this is the widget we have newly added and if you click on this you will see a new one here widget logic box is added so here what you can do is uh, you can add uh, some conditions here uh, so that whenever you open a particular page or post and whenever this particular widget is loading on that particular page or post it will check this logic here and if that logic is true then only that with particular widget will appear on that page or post so since i am i want to have this particular widget to work only on my home page i have to use a particular condition here which is is underscore home and brackets so now let's save this one so what happens is whenever you are opening a home page so this particular widget will be loaded but before this particular widget is loaded it will check if that is the home page or not if that is the home page then this widget will be loaded otherwise this widget won't be loaded so this is a very useful um, plugin which is widget under uh, widget logic so i have already created a video on this one and i have explained uh, different conditions what are the different conditions uh, you can use in this one for example you may want to use a particular widget only on a particular page so not on the home page but on a different page or different post or a group of pages or a group of posts so you can click uh, the link on the top of this video and you can view this, that video as well uh, but i'm not going into much details about this plugin but if you want to see how this plugin works you can click on the link at the top of this video 
okay so now i have written this condition let's save this one and let's go to the home page and click on this and refresh this okay the home page is refreshed and uh, we are able to see this wordpress slider let's go to a particular article i'm going to this first article and now the uh, the wordpress slider is gone which is good because we want to show our uh, wordpress slider only on the home page and we don't want to show it on any other particular post or page we have used widget logic plugin and we made it in such a way we wrote the condition is underscore home in that widget log uh, logic area and this is working very well so this is how you can create a wordpress uh, slider in your wordpress blog or post and let's go to this uh, settings section so I'm going to this meta slider here and this is the new slider we have added and these are the different conditions you can use and these are some additional advanced you also have some additional uh, uh, advanced settings I'm not going into much into details of this what are these advanced settings but you can try this and you can really create a, a very good sliders for your WordPress blog or post I hope you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel blogging my passion you can find my channel on youtube at blogging my passion you can just type youtube.com slash blogging my passion thank you very much